वेलकम एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल थिंक अबाउट द बिहेवियर ऑफ बायस्टेबल एलिमेंट सो विच इज बेसिकली ए टू इन्वर्टर बायस्टेबल एलिमेंट दैट वी विल डिस्कस सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी ड्रॉ थ्री डायग्राम ओके इन विच देर आर टू इन्वर्टर्स से इन्वर्टर नंबर वन एंड टू इन विच आउटपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट इन्वर्टर इज कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ऑफ द सेकेंड इन्वर्टर एंड आउटपुट ऑफ द सेकेंड इन्वर्टर इज कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट इन्वर्टर द सेम थिंग इज हेयर ओके इन्वर्टर नंबर वन इन्वर्टर नंबर टू आउटपुट इज कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट ऑफ द सेकेंड इन्वर्टर इज कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन अगेन हेयर ऑल्सो वी कैन सी दिस वन इज आवर वन इन्वर्टर ओके एंड अनदर वन इज वन मोर इन्वर्टर this one is our another inverter okay in which one of the input that is our this one is connected to the output drain terminal okay and the another one input input this input of the second one say this one is our we can say inverter number 1 and i am saying this one is our inverter number 2 all are the same diagram okay means output Two two inverter output is connected to the input of the one two means this one is the drain in okay this one is the drain in drain in of P okay drain in of we can say the N so this drain is connected to the what gate of that P MOS or we can say this gate of N MOS if I am saying the N MOS okay like that so all the diagram are same okay so we are saying this one is a biostable element so biostable element means as per the name suggest biostable means two stable state so i am writing here by stable element element means two stable states okay by stable element is two stable states or operation of modes and each of which can be obtained with different input output condition okay so now what we can say the for example i am saying this one we are giving input like vi1 and we are getting output as v01 okay now at input of second inverter i am saying vi2 and we are getting output as v02 okay similarly here also we can say vi1 v01 okay and then this will be our what vi2 and this one is our v02 okay here i am not making so from all this diagram what we can observe that vi1 equals to v02 and v01 equals to vi2 okay v01 okay vi1 is same as that of v02 or v01 is same as that of vi2 okay so i am highlighting this one so now in this video we will try to focus on the plot okay means circuit symbol is this one now what should be the plot okay so first of all we will try to plot if one inverter is there like this okay we are giving input h v i1 and we are getting output v not to v v not 1 okay v i1 v not 1 okay and this axis is our say v not 1 and vi1 so we can easily say when input is low output is high and it is follow this kind of okay or it will go like this okay means for this inverter now 
if for the other the one here there are two inverter okay in one inverter now again if someone say to draw the input is v i2 okay and output is v not 2 okay v i2 and v not 2 but here what i am saying try to shift the axis now in this case okay i, I just want to v i1 and v not 2 in the same axis let, let it be y axis and this one is our v i2 okay or better to first better to go for this one v not 1 and v i2 in the same axis and this one will be v i1 and v not 2 in the same axis so v not 1 and v i1 we have made okay now if we have to plot v i2 in the y axis and v not 2 in the x axis so it can be easily plotted like this when input is 0 when input is 0 output is high so this one is the input okay now this one is our input and this one is our output okay so when input is 0 output is somehow high so i am saying this one is our high okay and when input is high output is 0 okay so in this case it it will it will it will vary like this is it clear okay very similar to this okay then after we have to club all this diagram so this can be first diagram is like okay and the second one you can say So this one in which V naught V I2 V I2 in the vertical axis in the y axis okay and this one is our V naught 2 okay for this one graph will be this okay V I2 and for this one is nothing but simply our graph between v naught 1 and v i 1 okay so in book this kind of graph is given so now this is the plot v naught 1 v i 2 okay because v naught 1 is same as that of v i 2 so we have to make like this v i 1 equals to v naught 2 okay so this one is the graph so the intersecting voltage curves at of the two inverters okay so now so there are three points one point is there two point third point okay so this point is our stable point a stable point this point is our stable point and this one is our unstable point okay so in this circuit means if this kind of circuit is there the graph will be like this okay and how it draw so mainly we are very familiar with this diagram okay this v not 1 v i 1 but for v not 2 v i 2 v i 2 when input is 0 output is high so we are making that high okay then when input is high output is 0 this v not 2 will be 0 in this axis y axis so it will follow like this okay so this one is the generalized diagram okay so this one is the diagram and if we want to plot the energy potential energy for that particular diagram that is our energy versus 
time okay or we can say the energy energy potential energy diagram so you just consider this point unstable point and these are the stable points and this one is another stable point so the energy diagram energy one It will be a smooth time. So these two point you touch. So this one is the stable one. Means if you put some ball here, it will either go roll this side or this side to the stable point. And when the ball is here, it is the stable point. A stable point. Okay, unstable point. Okay. So this one is our unstable point. And these two are the stable point. So this is all about this simple video lecture in which we have draw the input output curve of a bi-stable circuit element. Means if two inverter is there connected like this, okay, like this, two inverter, okay, say one and two, one and two. Say I am saying again V I one, V not one, and V I two, V not two. So the curve between these two, like if this one is V not one, V I one, and this will be our V I two on the vertical axis, V I two and V not two. So it is somehow first graph we are making like this. And another one will be making like this. Okay, clear. So this one diagram is, is very similar to this one. Okay, and the potential energy we can make like this. So this is all about this uh, simple visualization for a bi-stable behavior of a two inverter based circuitry. This is all about this video and in another video we will go for more detail. In addition to that, one more diagram that I want to show you. Means if we plot time and at the any point that is our, we can say the unstable point VTH. Okay. So the circuit, we can say. have follow this kind of path this kind of path in this direction and other one in this direction it is so like this okay so in other video we will try to derive all these thing okay so this is all about today's video means how to visualize a plot between the output input characteristics of a bi-stable element. So this is all about this video. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.